you going, Sagittarius? I have your uh, daily quick read for you. I um, hope you're happy and healthy. What we're going to do is we um, I pull three decks, okay? Now out of three decks, there's 234 cards. Now out of each deck, I only pull seven cards. All right, so it's 21 cards out of 234 cards. All right, so we can put double emphasis, let alone triple emphasis on the spiritual message and see what comes out. I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day, and we're going to get started straight away. Beautiful. Somebody's very resilient. Yeah, that's the wounded warrior. Somebody's been through a lot in their life. Sagittarius, you've been through a lot in your life, yeah? Yeah, somebody's been through a hell of a lot, okay? She's um, got nine months to work with. She builds a fence, okay? But it's not a fence, it's a boundary because it stops people from crossing that boundary because of people are walking all over her life. Yeah, we're trying to release that burdens though. And that's where your success will be. You can see that there in itself, yeah? So we've gone from the nine of wands to the 10 of wands and then to the six of wands. So somebody's very passionate, okay? Very, very inspiring, okay? And that's the best way to say it. You've been through a hell of a lot in your life, okay? Um, and that, that's the truth. All those bits and pieces of, of anger and sadness have brewed and alchemized into like beautiful experiences for your soul, okay? For they to, uh, the experiences to be cherished and learned, you know, as you come uh, come meditatively, quietly through the calm with, with everything you are, you know? And that's the best way to say it because she's, she's walking here through this. See how she's coming down from a mountain in itself, coming back from um, something very horrible in itself, okay, because it leaves the nine of, nine of wands, which is the boundaries, and then you come through after the ten of, ten of wands to the victory. Now, this card is usually symbolized as somebody coming back from war, and that's the victory you get after war, if that makes sense. So it's like success in the way of badass success and coming completion and full circle. So somebody's gone through a war, a war zone in itself in order to release those, put those boundaries in place as the wounded warrior and then come through, release the boundaries and that's where your success is, yeah? Because you walked away from something. See, so she's walked away from something. Now in the background there, we can see in here, we can see there's two cups there. One's floating with fire in it. So it's probably a very, very fired relationship, either a lot of love or a lot of... Um, a lot of um, power in that relationship, a lot of love or a lot of fighting, you know, a uh, lot of lot of, um, lot of of fire in itself, a lot of fighting in itself, but you can see that they're falling down through the foundations, which means you try very, very hard, but you have to turn your back on it and just let it fall in itself and choose to walk towards the light, okay, because you have, if you have a look, they're all walking towards the light except for the first card, which is the boundaries. Now, she's standing firm in her boundaries. So you're standing firm in your boundaries, okay? But as you walk towards the light, literally, as you walk towards the light, you can see in the background here, she's walking towards the sun. There's the sun. So when you get there, it shows that there's positivity and happiness and inner beauty. That card there is a card of yes. If you just ask yourself a question, that question is yes, okay? And it shows that your love is the abundance. See in the background, even though that cup's there, there's a, a pentacle in the background. So your love is your abundance, okay? So don't lose that, okay? Um, you're very well grounded at this stage, okay? This could be past, present, or future. Okay, so it just shows that on how the spiritual message works. But yeah, so if you're at the Nine of Wands, you've still got all this to go, but the best part about it is it gives you the guidance on how to get there. Spiritual guidance of that. The Six of Wands shows you know, the victory of coming through all of that and being still strong and, and still having love in your heart because a lot of people come through and they don't love anymore. You know? And it shows that with the Eight of Cups, you've walked away from something that had a burn, you had a, either had a burning desire for and there was a lot of fighting, probably a very twin flame situation in itself. But we can see, because the two suns there, the two suns show twin flame, see? Two, two suns show twin flame, yeah? In itself, in, in, in itself. But like, the, the, the sun is radiant beauty. It's it's inner beauty. It's it's wholesome beauty. It's it's somebody who is shining like the sun. And it's somebody who in themselves, um, in their wholeness, you know, they that they are happy, choose to be happy. And that's inspirational success because I've got success before it if you're walking away. And now I've got inspirational success of that sun. And it shows that you are the like you are in the right place at the right time, you know, for that divine timing to take place as well, and that you 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 you're on the move towards your dreams um, and your life as you as a reminder of the divine being on your side as you step through with your with your life now and and know that um, the divine is with you in east, north, west, and south, and that means a chance to time to list your accomplishments and allow praises and then feel deep pride and know that you are deserving of of all these positions in life and as you walk through because that's the sun. That shows that you're manifesting the dreams. Anybody can show beauty on the outside, but this card shows beauty on the inside because that's inner beauty. Yes, she's radiantly beauty on the beautiful on the outside, but it's a card of inner beauty. It's a card of self-actualization. It's the only card in the whole deck that says yes. If you just ask the question in your mind, the answer is yes. Spirit says yes. 
It's positivity, it's love. And that's what the whole universe is built on, positivity and love, because she's emotionally, intuitively intelligent. The person I'm talking to has come through a whole lot and you've still kept your emotion intuitively intelligent. You lead with your heart and that's beautiful. In the wholeness, you will shine like that sun. That's where you're walking towards it. Yes, you've got memories. Yes, you've got nostalgia. Yes, you've got things about yourself where you've, got, you've come through stuff, okay? But the thing is, you've come through the finish line. It's now time, finish line on this side. And now it's time to celebrate, yeah? It's time to celebrate. You've gone through a hell of a lot. Think back to how far you've come with nostalgia and you'll see how far you've come. And it's like a pause and chance to pause and reflect on how beautiful you are. That could also be a card of them thinking about you walking away, okay? Because it can re can show nostalgia of somebody else, okay? It can, can do that, okay? Um, at this present moment, it's more like on the way of you thinking back, okay? Thinking about your future self, okay? Because you can see that there. It says as the whole process goes, it shows about you thinking about the future process, which therefore that baby there would be you thinking about your future self. Or it could be you in dreaming about your inner child. You know, but either way, one way or another, it's you being unapologetically yourself and embracing life for what it is. And that's beautiful because the Six of Cups is, is a great card to have in itself. It's, it can be reminiscing about the past too. It can be reconnecting with old flames and old friends, okay? So there may be some old friends or that you're reconnecting with and old flames that you're connecting with, okay? After you come through this situation because she is walking towards the sun there and they're flames. It can be uh, noticing how you're cycling through the same lessons at times, okay? Because then you're thinking about that, which is why you're putting action into relieving, releasing those burdens and walking towards your, your beautiful um, celebrations in life, okay? I've only got one more card and then we'll um, flip the deck to the next one. So this is our last card. Yeah, you, you might be a little bit sad, okay? I'm being honest, okay? You might be a little bit sad, okay? But there's something coming in the background, okay? You might be sad while you think back, okay? Look. Or somebody's sad about thinking back, okay? That's the truth, all right? That's how the cards don't lie because I've got a six to a five, which is 11. And, the, and in this card, I've got the compassion and love of something coming in the background, but your diplomatic love is... And a person who has that amount of love of being in the King of Cups loves would, after walking through a flame like that, be thinking about it and be sad. And that's the truth, okay? But Spirit wants you to know that there's something coming in, okay? And it was fated. I just flicked the decks and it says fated. It was fated for it to happen. I'll flick the decks again and we'll have a look. Yeah, it was fated by God, by the hand of God, that the hierophant there is God in order to, to go through this situation, okay? So whatever you're going through, just know that it was there for a specific reason, okay? You turned around and you walked away from it for a specific reason. You had to let it go down the drain. You tried very, very hard and it all fell down, this, fell down the, the crack, okay? And that's the truth, down the drain. In the background, there's a cup of love, which is you. But whatever was going on in that situation, they couldn't see your love and the divine had to hide it from them. So that way they couldn't see it, so it couldn't be manipulated. But there's something coming in the background. I need, need you to stay true to your boundaries and release. The card just flicked and said itself was release. Okay, and it also can be take a different perspective on how far you've come and how strong you are. There is something coming in the background. The spirit says release. You're enlightened now. You're a more enlightened being as you've gone through it. And that those boundaries, they're the hard things to do because you, you've got to go through the horrible parts in your life in order to understand why you need those boundaries in place and know you, why you need to know your worth. But the world's in front of you as you step towards your planning right now because she's stepping towards it with the Ten of Wands to show you those releasing those boundaries and once you come through um of releasing that baggage sorry um it's, there's a success there with the world of that reef on it above in and but the world in front in this one so it shows release at the present moment take a different perspective and start walking towards your world because in the three of ones they're starting to walk and they're planning an action on their dreams so that and that one they're planning at the moment yeah i knew this card would come out of course, we've got boundaries up the top there, and now we've got a person holding on to their worth, knowing their worth, knowing what you bring to any relationship, knowing what you'll put up with and what you won't put up with, okay? Any type of family, any type of groups, any type of anything, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's work, whether it's relationships, once you know your worth and what you'll put up with and what you won't put up with, it's a lot easier to walk away because that's where it is there now. It's a lot easier to walk away when you know your worth because you'll know what you put up with and not what you won't put up with in life, and that's beautiful. Okay, that's this, because you're a social butterfly, you, you are the party, if that makes sense. The cat there shows you will pounce on it, yeah, but you'll also have the patience and determination to strike when you're ready, yeah, so it shows that as you release the burdens, you'll be ready when you're ready, that's what Spirit says on that, and when you're ready, you'll shine like the sun, oh, you'll shine like the sun, the reason I said shine like the sun is because it's the next card, you'll shine like the sun, but then the sun came out, so it's double emphasis on you shining like the sun, Okay, you're walking towards the sun and I want you to be beautiful and happy and just know that beautiful and happy things okay, are coming. Okay, So we don't need to be sad. I know it's hard, okay, but that's part of releasing that baggage so we can move on. If you stay trapped in that mindset of what you've been through, you, you miss, the, miss the world outside. It's the truth. 
And when you cry all night, trust me, when you cry all night, it takes your view away from looking up at the beautiful stars all night. Because you've all, you got tears all in your eyes, yeah? Tears, okay? I'm sorry. But I've just had the exact same cards come out over and over again. So I'm telling you the truth right now. Exact same cards. The six to the six. Oh, this six to the six. The exact same cards. And the sun to the sun. So Spirit's putting emphasis on the fact that, yeah, you're about to either, you're about to create happy memories because that's what I get from that and to not be sad. Okay, because now it's putting double emphasis on the negative is, is, a, is the first one, the positive is the second one, okay, because now we're talking to inner beauty and radiance. So you might have been sad, if let it go in down the drain, okay, and thinking back over it over and over again, okay, but the fact that they've come out both times, okay, it shows that you've got healthy boundaries in place, okay, the emperor is all four kings in the deck, but the emperor's land, he's got boundaries all the way around them, you can't cross them. And that's the truth. That's beautiful because it starts with boundaries. As you release baggage, around the around the burdens, I've got you releasing baggage. And underneath, I've got you releasing. See? And it's planned. 100%, like I said before, fated for you to do that. So you can have the world. And that's your victory as you hold on to your value because there it is there. Holding on tight to that value. And then you being the social butterfly and being ready when you're ready. And that's beautiful because nobody's here to pressure you. It's, it, divine timing is in divine timing. But so are you. And that's the truth. See the... Um, cup there a grail it's the only one in this whole card now she came out before i showed you she had the in that other deck she was the cups okay but she had the pentacle in the pentacle in the background and that shows that your love is your abundance and that's the only one that has the grail in it the rest of all got cups and chalices so it shows your love is the grail and you can see in this one she's been handed the handed the chalice in that one so it shows that with two emphasis on that that you're about to create beautiful memories so there's no point looking back when when we should be looking forward literally and that's what the cards are saying because this is you. I wasn't doing a shuffle the cards. I can't even look at the cards until they're on the screen in front of me. That's why I'm hoping it would stop freaking moving around like that and blending. Like, I'm only new to this. But that's a very good camera. However, it's just, it's because the lighting's not the best in here. However, I'll get back to the read. Sorry. In this energy, you're perfectly perfect in who you are. All right? There's no such thing as perfect. But in your eyes, you should be perfect. Okay? Because that's fear. Your flaws only build you towards the best person at best version of yourself. The scars in who you are are there for a reason. They show that you've been accomplished in your life and you then this shows it. Inner peace, inner milestones, met. It shows your goals. It shows your determination. It shows beauty in your heart. The falcon in her hand shows that you are experienced in life and that you have pride in yourself, okay? Because of the fact, that's what I mean. It's come, see how see how the cards came through in, in the specific way they were supposed to come through? You started with boundaries. You released it. Then you got the victory. Then you walked away from all of these things because you stood up for yourself. Then now you have the shine like the sun. Yes, you were thinking back sadly as you go through but then there's something coming in so now we're going to change our perspective of that hangman know the world's in front of us in order to hold on to our value what we bring to our relationships and you'll be ready with that queen of wands to pounce when you're ready to pounce because you are patient determined in divine timing to get to that sun and have joy in order to create new memories towards your beautiful inner, inner peace and inner milestones met and your achievement and your discipline and, and how far you've come as an abundant self-made person with material peace personal goals and contentment and inner peace look we end on the Ten of Cups. One way or another, you're going to get beautiful things in your life. And that's beautiful. We split the decks now. And that's divine judgment right there. That's your awakening. Look, that's self-realization. But it's knowing your heart and your motives to be true. See the sign, see the light is showing straight into her heart. Because you have a beautiful heart. The Nine of Wands to the Hangman, please, pretty please. I know exactly what it is, but we'll see what you got for me, divine. <laughs> I'm not going to predict it. Oh. Uh, well, the fact that we've come from the Nine of Pentacles to the, uh, the I'll put the, these on the camera so that we can see. The Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, okay? Then we've got the King of Cups coming in in the background. We've got somebody sad at the same time, but then releasing that in order to have inner joy. You could think that underneath the Nine of Wands to the boundary to the Hangman releasing and letting go should bring either another Sun, Joy, Nine of Cups, or double emphasis on, on, on the Four of Pentacles or double emphasis on the Nine of Wands, one of the two. Four of fucking, <laughs> four of cut, four, it's double emphasis on knowing you worth, yeah? So it's come back and straight back in. Thank you, spirit. Love you. I love you very, very much. All right? Um, beautiful. What have we got under the deck? A logic, yeah? Because you're smart enough to know your logic now and use your logic towards walking towards the world. Because I've got the, I've got the, the nine of uh, wants to the hangman, okay, to the four of pentacles of her holding on to her value of everything you've gone through in life, yeah, we can see that, you release the baggage and then that puts the world in front of you and then puts the double emphasis on who you are with your worth, okay, you'll be ready when you're ready, but um, the best part about that is, is, is how beautiful you are, yeah, and it's coming in fast, that's good news coming in fast, yeah, it's like coming in fast, and then that's coming in real fast, okay, so 
with the uh, two, two of wands to the eight of wands, it shows from the ten of wands to the two of wands to the eight of wands, that shows releasing that baggage, okay, because you've got the world in front of you and you're doing it fast, you're doing it beautifully, okay? And Spirit wants you to know that. <laughs> Divine Spirit wants you to know how beautiful your heart is, okay? I can channel and I'm listening at the same time. But I, like the Spirit says, do it, I'm going to do it. Of course, I'm going to have a try and practice. Okay, this is the awakening time. This is your divine judgment. It's time for you to realize who you are as a person. It's time for your redemption. Yeah. Once you know your worth and you know that value and you hold on true to yourself and you see that light, shine, light shining into a heart, it shows that you, you're a beautiful person. And, and not everybody's a beautiful person, trust me. That's why that inner peace come out, inner, those two suns come out. There's only, like, that's inner beauty. You can't see inner beauty. Nobody can unless you get to know somebody. And it takes a long time to see that. But spirit, divine guidance, high honor, can see it. We are all naked in the eyes of God and can see that thoroughly. Yeah, it's time for your metaphorical transformation, okay? Because it goes straight under that pounce and cards. So the count, you'll be ready to pounce when you're ready to pounce, yeah? The cut there, and then the transformation there. This is the symbolic death, which brings a symbolic rebirth. You walked away from something, okay? See? And it shows that. And there's a victory there as you went through your divine awakening. So you can have your judgment, and your judgment is beautiful. Spirit knows your heart and your motives to be true. So therefore, you get the transformation, which is the rebirth. And that rebirth is going to be beautiful because you have the logic now to be able to use your brain. Not that you didn't in the first place, but the, what I'm saying is the logic in order to step through life experiences and level up to the next level, so you can get to the next level. Okay, we've got the sun to the sun, okay, and um, the the transformation of that phoenix re rising from its ashes. So we'll see what we got. No, I don't want to predict again. Uh, the sun to the sun. It's not a joke. Okay. Beautiful. You're leaving this stuff behind. That's the best part about this, is you're putting an end to this stuff. This, this manipulation, this sadness, this depression, all the things where this devil, devil comes along and plays you like a puppet in all different ways. Everybody thinks the devil's a horned one that walks behind you. I'm going to tell you the devil's an energy. The devil's in your friends. The devil's in your business colleagues. It's in your head. It's everywhere, okay? And it's the things that tell you you're not good enough. When, that, when you get up right... So if you um, were about to get onto stage tomorrow to win a stage contest and right beforehand... The devil will be right there with you, okay? But so will God, right? The God will tell you to get onto that stage because you deserve it, because you're a beautiful soul. But the devil will make you run to the toilet and throw up because you're not worth it. Does that make sense? It's an energy. And I've got the devil to the sun. I've got the dark to the light here, by the way. Double enters on the light too, by the way, with two suns. Okay, so this devil can play around with the manipulation as much as I want because I'm leading towards your thoughts and sadness here. So in, in on one shoulder... Okay, on one shoulder of, of your thoughts here, you've got the devil, which is that sadness. And on the other shoulder, you've got the light, which is the positivity in itself. So it's your cho choice to pr choose what you want. Me personally, with those suns there, I know what I'm choosing because I've got three first one, three verse one. And not only that, this is nothing, nothing for high honor. I'm telling you the truth, nothing. Okay, but you're putting an ending to it, see, because we've got the ending, the symbolic death. You're putting a death to that. So you can have positivity in life. And we've got another King Queen of Cups here, okay? So it shows that your abundance is your love. And that's what Spirit's highlighting right here. Your heart is so pure and beautiful. It's not funny. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, and that's all Spirit wants is you to have that boundaries in place and know your worth so you can step forward and, and have everything you want in place and have the mindful understanding to steer clear of manipulation and moodiness and come, come out into the light. That's all. And have your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful card to have because above it, I've got the Ten of Cups, okay? And you've got the, to the Ten of Legacies. So this is a legacy in itself, okay? It could be money. It could be abundance in some sort of way, something that makes you very, very happy, but abundant in your life. It can be abundance of joy, abundance of happy, abundance of money. Everybody wants money, but they don't understand there's a root of all evil, okay? This is a tree in itself. So it's grown all the way through to the trials and tribulations of that tree there, okay? If the devil was around, the tree would have never grown. So that's why you've got to release the devil and protect your energy at the same time, okay? We'll come back to this card in a second. But this can be your spiritual inheritance inheritance okay becoming more wiser okay abundance in the way of life experience so when these people come around and these devilish energies come around you can stand straight up and say no <laughs> no yeah and that's your legacy is to have what you want so we can have all of these things here because like with the two the cups of sadness on one thing and then in, a, in, a, in a, and then the positivity on the one either way you've got something coming in okay and you need to release it okay that's the truth okay so you need to trust your intuition okay because the same cards come out here which is your inner milestones met this one here 
So either way, and when I grab these decks, it's planning, okay, in itself, okay. But you can see that the inner milestones are met. There's something coming in because that's it's on top, yeah. But see how there's something coming in the background there, yeah. And it shows that your love will bring that in, okay. So you just need to release, have a different perspective of that hand and become enlightened because of your light. And there's your there's your uh, divine guidance in itself and trusting your intuition that it'll come in and just staying happy and positive. So positive things come in. Underneath that, I've got this card, which is the Ten of Cups, and it shows that thoroughly, okay. And all spirits saying to do is protect your energy know your worth have pride in yourself and and put put your boundaries in place and when you put all those boundaries in place this is nothing blech blech oh well, you to have a lovely beautiful day yeah victory as we start with nine of ones and we end with victory that's not only just victory that's triumphant victory okay that's war victory that's movement in the way of victory and, and awesome triumphant victory okay but spirit just saying protect your energy see in this card she's um pushing through the world and saying, no, I'm taking it, okay? And I'm taking it my way. I'm going to have my boundaries in place my, and I'm going to know my worth with double emphasis on worth, um, and double emphasis on memories and double emphasis on the sun. You're going to be able to create beautiful memories, okay? So know your worth and and have your, be ready when you're ready. That's the best way to say it. The divine already knows with that awakening card there and the good news coming in, it shows that divine knows your heart to be true and, and your motives to be true and beautiful, yeah? I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day and take care, Sagittarius. Thank you. God bless.